I've been wondering if this mine was entirely worked out. <laughs> You'll think of reopening her. I'll think of anything that might help those poor devils at Will Reef. Consider them your responsibility? You don't? Father doesn't trust me with responsibility. He likes to keep the mysteries of mine owning to himself. Perhaps we should open leisure together. Share the burden and the spoils. We went looking down for Ross Pole Dark down at Wheel Leisure. All we found was actually Wheel Owls, and we were looking around the tips for some radioactive stuff. It wasn't long before the Geiger counter pointed us to this area. We started digging a hole. The hole got deeper and deeper, yeah. and then finally we found some treasure. The yellowy bit here. Well, that's what we're looking oh, look for. at that! That's it. Oh yeah, fucking what beauty! The fuck? That's it. Yeah, <laughs> that that bright yellow. Bit. Oh my god, look at this green! Look at the green on it. Watch it. Get, get, get fit pictures up because that'll oxidise. Come on, quick, 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 get it out. Asha, bring it out. Ash. It's got Cooper's Fidelsky on it. This is so fucking incredible. 56. That stuff at its comprehensive site and probably some, some of its zippyite as well. This is pitch blend, also known as uranite, which is the primary ore of uranium. It also contains a lot of radium, which is why it's so highly radioactive. This particular piece was found in a void under the tip. The void allowed all of these secondary minerals to grow on the surface. This is incredibly rare. You can fucking see on there, the little crystals there, and it's just... As soon as the specimen hit the oxygen in the atmosphere, it started to oxidise and the colours started to dull. It's a weird thing, those are secondary crystals. I'm not sure what they actually are. The great thing about uranium secondaries is that they glow under UV light. 